Hey guys, welcome to my room back in the UK in my parents' house. As you can see on the bed behind me, I've got all my stuff ready for my next trip and also on the table here. So this video, I'm just gonna go through all of the things that I normally bring on one of my trips so you can replicate that or get an idea. So you know the kind of things you need to bring for a budget backpacking trip. Now I will mention I probably have more stuff than most backpackers as I do make these videos as well and I think in general I just take a little bit more. So to begin with I have two pairs of shoes here. One are more like a big pair of trainers and these are slightly smarter more casual shoes that can be used for anything although they probably need a bit of a clean. Both black, easy to go with anything. Moving on to the clothes, underwear. I always bring 10 pairs of boxers and 10 pairs of socks and also ankle socks usually about four pairs. Shorts and trousers, I've got this pair of more casual shorts which are good for lounging in hostels, they're really comfortable. One pair of these chino shorts, black jean shorts, some chinos, black jeans, and one smarter pair of trousers which are kind of like chinos and casual as well. I know that's quite a lot. Most people probably only bring one pair of shorts, one pair of trousers. You can go that far if you want to, but that's what I bring. T-shirts, I bring 10 in total. Long sleeve T-shirts for sleeping at night. I've got two there and one pair of like pajama trousers. And these are long sleeved and long trousers instead of shorts or T-shirts because um, in countries like India, you have mosquitoes and I currently don't take any malarone or any malaria pills and so when I sleep I want to cover all my skin um, apart from my feet I don't cover my feet I can still get bitten there but in general you're like 95% covered from mosquitoes when you sleep if you wear these clothes um, and that is half the problem if you're sleeping in just your boxes then of course you're more likely to get bitten three shirts here as you can see sometimes I like to mix it up a bit one jumper plain blue not that thick, pretty thin, goes in my bag quite easily um, as most of the countries I travel to are pretty hot. Based on your time of year you probably won't need a jacket but it depends where you're going. Uh, and I have one thin raincoat here which is really good as well, goes in my bag really easily. So that's it for all my clothes, they go in my main bag and I'll show you my main bag in a minute but I'll just head over to all my toiletries first to give you an idea of what you need for a few months worth of travelling. So I'll start from this side to begin with, toilet paper, a must have for countries like India, China, um, probably as well for Southeast Asia, although I've not been to that region of the world yet. Uh, in general, have a roll of toilet paper with you at all times. Of course, when this runs out, I'm going to buy a replacement and uh, carry on that way. Cleansing wipes, I always have these wet wipes to clean my hands and they go in my day bag, which is this bag over here. I have one at a time and I keep the other one in my main bag an antibacterial wash to wash your hands uh, before you start eating of course after I've used the wet wipes just minimizes the risk of getting sick basically so moving on here as you can see these are all a bit worn <laughs> because the, they came back from my India trip and uh, well I don't have to buy any new ones so I might as well use the same stuff again although at the end of a trip this is the kind of condition <laughs> your stuff might end up in anyway um, it's always good to have some plasters Ibuprofen and paracetamol are pretty important just in case you feel sick and you want to you know, save yourself a trip to the doctor. Maybe you can pop a few of those and you'll feel better in a day or two. Imodium is a bit of a lifesaver if you think that you might need to go to the toilet on a bus that doesn't have one or if you're on a train journey that you don't want to have to squat down 10 times for or if you just have diarrhea in general they will basically stop you from needing to go for about 12 hours. I used three of them in India. I've got three left for my next trip. Um, they don't make your stomach feel too good, but I have to say um, they'll go a long way and they'll really save your life at times. Multivitamin tablets, a good extra to have. Keeps you with all those minerals and vitamins that you might be missing otherwise as, you know, eating out and about all the time isn't necessarily the healthiest lifestyle. Pair of scissors, they do just come in useful. Um, again, an extra you probably don't really need, but I use them. I'm left-handed and these are left-handed scissors and I don't know. I just can't go without them. 
Uh, Bongella, again, unnecessary, but if you have any cuts in your mouth or anything, you can use that. Uh, Savlon, I think this one is quite important. It's antiseptic cream. And so if you get a cut, you can rub this on and it minimizes the risk of infection. You don't want to get any infections while you're abroad. Mosquito repellent, extremely important if you're not taking malaria tablets in a part of the world where malaria exists and also minimizes the risk of things like Japanese encephalitis and dengue fever. None of those are particularly appealing things. Uh, sun cream, of course, important if you're a pale white pasty boy like me and you need to stop yourself from burning. Again, pseudo cream, I mean, kind of similar to Savlon. You probably don't need both, but this time I'm planning to go for a while, so I decided to bring this too. Toothpaste, toothbrushes, enough to keep me going for quite a while, as you can see. Small scissors and nail clippers, pretty self-explanatory. A razor, as at the moment I'm rocking the clean shaven look. My hair wax, moisturizer, all in one, shampoo, shower gel and face wash. That kills three birds with one stone there. Of course, deodorant, a razor to obviously cut hairs. What else does a razor do? Some shaving gel, of course, which goes with my razor. Aftershave, pretty straightforward. And of course, some aftershave balm for whenever I shave. So most of this stuff goes in my two wash bags, which in turn go at the bottom of my main bag. I'm going to show you all the rest of my stuff now, which I bring. My other vlogging tripod at the moment, I'm currently holding one of my tripods and obviously my main camera. Uh, my laptop here and my laptop charger. Of course, my wallet. Inside my wallet, I have one, two, three bank cards. You want to have your money split across some different bank accounts. If you lose one card, then you're not basically screwed. My phone and my Kindle, which I use because when you're traveling a lot, you just have so much time on your hands that, um, you know, it's good to read. This is a universal adapter, which is really neat. As you can see on the universal adapter, you have the different settings for depending on which region of the world you're in. So just use it accordingly. As you can see, you can select the different ones that you want, depending on where you're going. This is my old bike lock and this obviously goes in like that and I put it around my bag whenever I'm on a train and it goes under the bed at the bottom while maybe I'm sleeping on the top and I know my bag's safe because my bike lock is there to protect it so no one can steal your things while you're on public transport. This is my camera case. Inside here I have just my own vlogging stuff, it's my um, camera charger and some lenses and my memory cards in here. It's actually my old Game Boy case. In here I have some wonderful pictures of myself <laughs> uh, in case I need anything for one of my visas. I have like three or four, well I think I have about five there actually. Um, which is really useful. Make sure you have some pictures of yourself that you can use in case you need them. Passport, of course. Can't go anywhere without this. Had this baby for a while now. As you can see, you can't even really see United Kingdom at the front. Probably need to get a new one. European health insurance card. I'm not currently heading to Europe, but it's always useful to have it with you in case you do end up in Europe. Sunglasses, of course. Kind of a must if you're going to hot, bright countries. This is my external hard drive all my memory from all my original clips of my videos and finished videos on this baby. Here, travel money. Um, for the place that I'm going, I've got uh, the money I have in US dollars to get my visa. It's always good to have 200 US dollars backup money. So say your wallet gets stolen and all your cards are in there, which shouldn't happen because I'm gonna split my cards into different parts of my bag. But say you lose all your cards or say that you're card gets rejected for whatever reason. You have 200 US dollars emergency money to transfer into local currency to get yourself out of a sticky situation until someone can wire you some money or whatever. You just never know when you're going to need it so it's always good to have emergency money. Here I have a photocopy of my passport. I also have that on an app called Dropbox but it's good to have it in person. It can really come in useful because of course if you lose your passport then it's not completely the end of the world. And then this is my day bag, which also can attach to the front of my bag here and make one massive mega bag, but I rarely do that. I just sort of 
carry this one on my front and carry this one on my back. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through my big bag. It's been with me on two trips now. As you can see, it's from Mountain Warehouse and it cost me about 100 pounds. The key when buying a good backpack is to look for something that has lots of different pockets and layers. As you can see, I can put my laptop in there or I can put some things in this slip at the bottom. There's an extra pocket, which is where my wash bags go. Um, yeah, I love this bag. It's really useful. So that's it. That's all my stuff. I'm going to quickly show you how I get it all into my bag and the best way you can pack it up. So when it comes to putting it all in your bag, what I normally do is I roll up all of my socks and stuff them into the soles of one pair of my shoes, the pair that I'm not wearing. Take two socks like so, roll them from the bottom and then pull them over so they go into a tight little ball. You can probably get 80% of them into your shoes and then the rest just go in the bottom of your bag. And this bag is gonna be your wash bag. So whenever you have dirty clothes, you can always throw them in here and then that separates them from your clean clothes and it's easy for you to know when you're away what needs washing and what doesn't need washing. Shoes then go straight into the bottom of your bag. That's the first thing. On top of your shoes, you want to put your first wash bag. As you can see, I've put my toiletries into two wash bags now. One of them goes on top like that. And the other one, I usually put in this section at the bottom. Next, of course, start with all your underwear um, and roll up all of your clothes like so so you can get as much in as possible. Put that in there like that. The same goes with all your t-shirts and trousers and shirts. Roll everything up like so. Pretty straightforward and that makes everything much, much easier to fit into your bag. Huge tip, which I think you already know, never put your valuables in your cabin luggage. Of course, keep them in your hand luggage that's laptops, cameras, currency, whatever it may be. If you lose that, then at least you only lose your clothes and your toiletries and it's replaceable. All the underwear inside at the bottom with your wash bag and shoes. Don't forget to set aside one pair for your outward journey and make sure when you go out, you include wearing your jumper and your jacket to save space and do yourself a favor on the flight. Don't go with the black jeans go with chinos or something comfortable like trackies or joggers. Next, I usually go with trousers and shorts. And then on top of that, I roll up all my t-shirts. And then finally, I add in my shirts. All of this stuff goes in my day bag and that goes in my hand luggage. Of course, when I'm out and about during the day, when I'm traveling, this stuff stays in my hostel or my main bag, in my locker, in my room. So I've managed to fit everything into these two bags. One more thing to mention, I have three locks that I use at all times. Um, these usually go on my bag here. This one for the bottom section, this one for the top section, just in case someone tries to get inside your bag when you're traveling, it's very common. This one I use in hostels as my main locker uh, padlock, slightly bigger than the others. I'll put these two on whatever bag my laptop's in if for example, I'm leaving my bag in somewhere where it's not protected in a locker. So that's everything for this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you like these travel tip videos, then I can make more of them. Let me know in the comments below what you think, or if you just prefer me making travel vlogs and actually going to places, um, please let me know your feedback. I know you're all dying to know where I'm heading, so I won't put you through your misery any longer. <laughs> I'll reveal my next destination. Waking up tomorrow morning to catch a flight to Bangladesh. That's my next destination and videos are gonna be coming out pretty soon. Stay tuned.